Limestrong marble creates a finish that is very smooth and with no texture. Marble can be hand troweled for a polished or matte finish. Movement and modeling are more pronounced with increased burnishing and darker colors. For best results, we recommend using our Limestrong stone plaster as the foundation for the marble finish. The stone base coat provides just the right amount of absorption and can cover minor defects in the wall surface. For mixing Limestrong stone and marble, you'll need clean buckets, a large 10 gallon tub, five gallon paint strainers, a 1200 RPM variable speed mixing drill, an egg beater style mixing paddle, rubber or neoprene gloves, eye protection, a bucket scraper, pigment, Limestrong stone, Limestrong marble. One bag of Limestrong stone requires nine liters or just over two gallons of water. It's best to start with a bit less water and add more at the end of mixing to adjust for consistency. Always add the pigment to the mix water before adding any plaster. In this video, we are using the color Clark from our Limestrong designer palette. Mix the pigment vigorously in the water for one minute. To avoid pigment bursting, we recommend straining the pigment through a paint strain. This will catch any small lumps of pigment that may not dissolve in the water. Pigment bursting is tiny clumps of unmixed pigment that can cause dark streaks of color in the plaster finish. Pigment will settle quickly to the bottom of the bucket. Make sure you mix well before straining. Add about one third of the plaster at a time. Keep adding plaster until the bag is empty. If needed, add small amounts of water as you go to get to the right consistency. Scrape any dry plaster off of the sides into the mix. Once all of the plaster has been added and you have the desired consistency, mix at high speed three full minutes to ensure a smooth mix. Tools for application. Tools needed for application are a masking tape and drop cloth to protect the floor, a plasterer's hawk, a semi-flexible stainless steel trowel, flexible knife, outside corner tool, spray bottle, rags. The Limestrong Stone First Coat should be applied over level 4 finished drywall and primed with our dimension grit added to standard drywall primer. The grit gives the primer micro texture and creates an ideal surface to receive plaster. To ensure perfect edge details, it is recommended to remask between coats. Rather than have to redo your entire masking job, use a strip of one inch tape at the plaster interface. This edge tape will be removed and replaced between coats. Using a semi-flexible stainless steel trowel, apply a thin coat of Limestrong stone, just thick enough to cover the biggest sand grains in the mixture. Try to apply evenly and avoid leaving excess trowel marks. The base coat should be applied continuously and a wet edge should be maintained. A 90 degree outside corner tool can help to create crisp corners. Apply the plaster liberally to the corner and then run the corner tool down. Once the plaster has been applied, allow the wall to dry about halfway. Come back with a clean trowel and knock down any high spots or ridges. These areas, if left proud, will telegraph through the finish and show as darker in color. If you are looking for more modeling and color variation, this first coat can be left as is without the final smoothing step. 
Remove the edge masking tape before the plaster is dry. Once the plaster has dried completely, remask the edge. If needed, a light touch with fine sandpaper can be used to clean up the corners and detail. With the exception of the straining, the mixing process for marble is the same as for the stone. One bag of limestrung marble requires 11 liters, just under 3 gallons of water. Again, start with less water and add a little more at the end to adjust the consistency. Always add the pigment to the mixed water before adding any plaster. Mix the pigment vigorously in the water for one minute. Because we'll be straining the whole mix, there's no need to pre-strain the pigment when mixing marble. Add about one third of the plaster at a time. Mix well and scrape any dry plaster off the sides and into the mix. Keep adding plaster until the bag is empty. If needed, add small amounts of water as you go to get the right consistency. Clean any unmixed plaster from the side of the bucket. Once all of the plaster is in and you have the desired consistency, mix at high speed for three full minutes to ensure a smooth mix. Because there is no grit in marble and it is such a fine finish, Straining removes any unmixed lumps that may occur. Marble is the only finish that needs to be strained in this way. Place a 5 gallon paint strainer over a clean bucket. Pour about one third of the mix into the strainer. Shake the paint strainer over a larger mixing tub to help the plaster drain through. Squeeze the last of the plaster through, taking care not to rupture the strainer with your finger. If the mix thickens and doesn't pour easily, quickly remix with the drill and it will flow again. Repeat until all of the plaster has been strained. Transfer the strained plaster into a bucket for ease of application. Limestrong marble is applied using a double back application technique. One coat of plaster is applied followed by another immediately after, wet on wet. This requires some speed and technique to ensure an even finish without too many choppy trowel marks. Try to work in cloudy, random patterns and not leave too many hard edges with your trowel. Marble can be left smooth and matte or can be burnished to a high gloss. The level of sheen that is achieved is dependent on the timing and degree of pressure used with the trowel. When the plaster has dried about halfway, a clean stainless steel trowel should be used to burnish the surface. Hold the trowel at a 35 degree angle with a high amount of pressure. Working quickly in multiple directions, the plaster will begin to shine and become reflective. The degree to which the surface is burnished is up to the applicator and the final result that is desired. Our Limestrong soap finish is made from natural oils. The soap reacts with the lime to create a silky smooth protective layer on the surface of the plaster. Tools needed for soap, a clean 5 gallon bucket, a paint roller, a paint brush, a 5 gallon bucket grid, a tool for stirring, lime strong soap concentrate. Application of soap is an optional step but recommended for its protective and aesthetic qualities. Lime strong soap is packaged in a 1 quart concentrate. For regular plaster surfaces, it should be diluted one part soap to eight parts water. To mix a full quart, start with two gallons of water. Pour a full quart of soap concentrate into the water and mix well. Remask adjacent surfaces. Easiest and quickest way to apply the soap is with a roller. Diluted soap mixture is very thin and will drip easily. If a drip runs down the unsealed wall, it can cause a stain. 
To avoid drips on unsealed plaster, start at the bottom of the wall. Roll the soap on in a random crosshatch pattern to avoid roller marks and lap lines. One coat is sufficient, but two can be applied if desired for extra protection. After the soap has been applied, check over the whole wall for drips or runs. A drip left to dry on the wall can leave a stain that is difficult to remove. When the soap has dried completely, buff the wall with a soft cloth to remove streaks and to further polish the surface. For more information on Limestrong Marble and all of our other finishes, please visit our website, limestrongartisan.com.